guys, welcome back to Feather's Charm. I'm Feather and welcome to this episode of the My Bullet Journal Journey series. Today we'll be creating the August spreads and before I forget, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and follow me here on YouTube, on my social media channels, on my website and on Patreon to help me create more content like this for you guys. So let's start off by flipping through July and as you can see things haven't been as busy as they were back in June um, but they were still rather busy so although I haven't written down too many tasks I did do quite a lot of things during July. And as you can see I didn't quite fill out uh, the last two weeks of July uh, purely because I created the spreads for August sometime mid week 3 July. Okay so let's start with the uh, title page and I start off by using the 0.8 fine liner, uh, the uni ball uni pin fine liner to create the serif font uh, that you see here. So a serif font is basically um, letters with those sticky pointy outy things <laughs> um, that you see so in in fonts like Times New Roman and, and things like that now my font isn't quite even um, as you can see the G's wonky the U is a little too high um, and a little too thick the S isn't quite as um, uniform as some other S's but hey that's the beauty of handwritten font um, and as you can see, I also do uh, the three dots and the line um, design that you've seen me do for the past few months. Now for the rows that I will be doodling, um, I use my trusty dusty Arteza pens. Uh, this one is in Rouge Pink A190. And as you can tell, I absolutely love my Arteza pens uh, because the... <laughs> the label has been um, scratched off so that's why I use the yellow real brush pen that you see me bring out. Now this time I decided to do um, another color so not the peach. I use the cadmium orange and that is the A140 a 140 uh, pen. I really really love this color. It is so beautiful and regardless of what it says it's not orange it is red at least to me it looks red um, and I use that to create some shade um, in the in the rose. Um, I've also decided to outline the roses this month so both in June and July I did sort of the abstract kind of rose, I decided to create the actual outline of the petals this time and it looks really really good. Um, I also use a new color, uh, this one is Green Tea A154, uh, again this one's by Arteza um, and it's the lighter version of the Crocodile Green A126 as you can see. Um, I actually like this color as well. Uh, the Crocodile green is my absolute favorite because it's like army green or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the green tea green is a little lighter than that and I don't know, I like the whole idea of having shade in my doodles this month. And there you have it, my title page. So let's move on to the monthly overview and monthly trackers. Now, if you can see the outlines, it is the same outline as both June and July. I will eventually change it up, but for now, I am happy with this layout. Um, it's rather easy for me to create, and because I've done it quite a bit now, it's, um, it's become a routine, and I do like my consistency, as you can probably tell. So for the title of the monthly overview and tracker, as you can see, I use the uh, calligraphy style as well as the serif font. Um, 
I love this contrast. I, I don't know if you've seen other calligraphers uh, create quotes and lyrics and whatnots um, on Instagram or YouTube, but I love the um, the idea of contrasting a calligraphy swirly type of font with the uh, with the blocky style of the of the serif font. Here I get a little annoyed with myself because I um, overdid one of the boxes for the for the calendar. So one line of dates um, is a little bit longer than the others. I was debating whether or not to uh, go over it with another page, but I, I thought no, let's leave it as it is. Yes, some of you eagle-eyed viewers will be as OCD as me and, and, and really want to fix it, but I, I want to get over it, so <laughs> I am leaving it intentionally to help myself not uh, feel like everything needs to be perfect, because it's a bullet journal, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, and it shows that it is made specially for me by me. So that's a lesson for you guys, if you want to create your own bullet journal, be prepared to accept the mistakes you make because eventually um, you'll learn to not make those mistakes in the future. <laughs> now I thought the titles for this month would be a little bare if I didn't add a little decoration. So I created those little leaves and the lines and dots uh, to make it a little bit more um, decorative so it's not so plain or bare and I didn't want to do the roses again and again and again so I just left it as the leaves and I think they look lovely what do you guys think and again with the days of note and my monthly tasks I decided to use both the uh, serif fonts and the calligraphy style as well uh, purely because for each of my boxes I highly doubt I'll need so much space so I thought let's make the titles a little bit bigger this time and I also do the leaf uh, motif here as well <laughs> On to my monthly trackers. Again, you see me use the serif font um, and the uh, calligraphy style. I don't know what it is. It's just so pretty. It's so lovely. I really should keep practicing my calligraphy just so that it looks a little more polished. And here I'm just creating the trackers. So there's not really much a difference this time around um, it's just the same thing over and over again as you've seen in the last two videos now here you see I have a little star right next to the first week um, in the TikTok uh, tracker that's because I made a little bit of a mistake I put number seven in that little box so I thought let's cover it up quickly with the uh, stars and dots that I actually started doing um, in my first pages uh, spreads and uh, you'll see I will add more later on. I also use the Staedtler double ended fiber tip pens, so one in the red, the yellow and the green, <laughs> which is ironic because it reminds me of a traffic light, <laughs> which I did not intend, it, it just happened that way. But yes, I use the uh, Staedtler Triplus actually for the green. And this month's quote is, I am content with where I am at the moment because I am actually happy with the growth on my YouTube channel and on my social media channels. And I hope you guys continue to like and follow me uh, for more content like this. <laughs> So again, I do the rose motif. I think the rose is gonna stick uh, because um, I have said before the rose will stick. So 
This year is all about roses. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm outlining the roses and creating the shaded leaves. I decide to outline the leaves here uh, as well. I don't outline the ones for the titles, but in all the doodles in the spread itself, I do outline the leaves um, just to make them pop a little bit more because it looked a little weird without the outline uh, compared with the outlined roses. And finally I do one last little doodle of a rose underneath the, um, the quote purely because there was just too much white space there and I thought let's uh, fill that in with a rose doodle and a, f a few leaves which is actually really really pretty I do like the uh, theme this month although it's very red and very um, bold and in your face it's it's really pretty i like this spread i think it would have been better in february but because i have not uh, done a february spread yet it has to be august and as you see there i do a few dots and stars just to make that little lonely star not feel so lonely so moving on to my first week um, the layout of the week is pretty similar to my June spread uh, but I do leave a little more space for the uh, dailies rather than the uh, trackers so it's not quite half page um, it's a little bit more so it's a little similar to the July spread but instead of alternating uh, where the trackers and where the um, dailies go the trackers and the dailies are in the same place, so the dailies are in the middle, uh, while the trackers are on the outside. But the uh, the spacing is a little similar to last month or this month, since this is still coming out in July. <laughs> now I'm outlining the headers of the boxes this time. So in July, if you've noticed, I don't outline the the top of the box uh, I thought let's close everything in let's make it a little bit different from July um, obviously it is very different from June but um, I, I do like to have a little bit of a difference in each of my months so I do box out the whole thing roses again I create the leaves actually on one side rather than on uh, both sides purely because I wanted a little bit of a difference so each doodle on each uh, weekly spread is different from the other some of them might be similar in in that they are one rose or two roses but the placement of the leaves are very much different noticed in my last spread um, in the July spread um, and in this spread I have a little system going when it comes to outlining my boxes so I do all the vertical lines first and then I do all the horizontal lines I don't know why but it is a system that works for me it makes outlining the boxes seem a lot quicker <laughs>
again with the mistakes you probably saw me start writing out month uh, monthly tasks in that weekly tasks box so yes that's me again trying to embrace the mistakes that I've made <laughs> Like my sleep log, you can see I've carried over the word of the week uh, boxes as well. Now instead of a Korean word of the week box, I have a Spanish one. So instead of Hangul, I am learning Espanol this month. I really do love learning languages. It's a fun thing for me and yes, grammar can escape me sometimes, but um, I just love hearing these different languages it's so interesting and it's so different from English and I would love to say to people I know more than one language fluently and hopefully one of these days I can converse with someone uh, fluently in their own language so wish me luck <laughs> As you can see here, I am using the Staedtler Tri Plus fiber tip pen in, uh, I would say, sunflower yellow. They don't really have names for these colors, but that's what I think it looks like. And you can see I outlined the calendar for the first week of August because I forgot to do it when I was creating the spread. Now, a word on Staedtler. Yes, the colors do flood um, the page. So what I mean by that is if you use a black fine liner on the page first before you use the Staedtler uh, colors, the, uh, the black will smudge. So I would suggest using the color first before using the fine liner, um, especially if the fine liner was just newly uh, put down. So I, as you can see, the calendar kind of smudges at, um, at number 13 in the week. Um, that's because it, it was put down first and then the, uh, the Staedtler color pen um, was put down lit almost uh, right after. So that, that is one downside for Staedtler, but it is still a really good um, alternative to any of the bigger named um, fiber tip pens. Now for the eagle-eyed viewers that have seen my last two videos, you would have noticed that I put down um, sleep first before mind. Um, in this month, I put mind before sleep because my meditation should really happen before I sleep, not after. So um, that's why that's been switched around. It's because I want to continue tracking and trying uh, to meditate once a day. Um, and if I have it down as the last thing of the day, I'll forget. And you see here I've already 
um, put down the stapler color first before the actual calendar so that's that stops me from from having any black uh, bleeding through or or smudging across the page quick question for you guys what do you think that color is do you think it is red or do you think it is orange now I, as I said before it is called cadmium orange um, but I say it looks more red uh, tell me what you think about it in the comments below because I really want to know do you think it's red or do you think it's orange So if you guys have noticed, I don't carry through the serif font for my uh, weekly spreads. That's because it's pretty difficult for me with my current pens and my skill level as well uh, because I have not been practicing so I decided to use a very simple style. So instead of a serif font, it's the um, standard sort of handwriting um, kind of style. It's, it's not my usual style. Um, if you've noticed in my uh, flip throughs, my handwriting is not, um, is not separate. So each letter is not separated from the other. It's, it's cursive. It has, um, it does join up, but for the most part, um, I wanted to have a very simple style for the titles or the headers of my, my trackers. Now you can see me counting uh, the dots here. That's because while I was outlining um, the boxes, so you can see the pencil outline on the other page, I actually messed up a little bit during the, during the outlining and um, one box was a little bigger than the other and I had to just double check I didn't um, overdo the, uh, the, the boxes and, and that they were equal. But they are equal so you don't need to worry. constantly wiping things away on the table those are just the um, eraser leftovers or, or whatever you want to call them that's because I erased the outlines of the boxes so before I even create the spreads I use pencil to outline what kind of layout I want for my weekly spreads and sometimes as you see me going through the the spread I do show the little eraser that I use um, it just leaves a lot of um, I don't know what you call it but like those little 
swirly bits of um, eraser, rubber, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it just, it just annoys me so much. Um, I just have to keep wiping it away. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I used a washi tape in my last video. Now, I will eventually start using them um, as I as I progress with my bullet journal. It's just this month um, and the last two months have been rather uh, busy for me personally and um, as I am currently working. So I don't really have the time to um, consider the options that I have with my washi tape and my stickers. Uh, but you will see I will start using them. I might actually start using them in September because the washi tape that I do have, it's more of a an autumn kind of theme or a fall kind of theme because it's all about coffee, it's all about fallen leaves and spices and, and things like that. And um, I, I don't have any summery kind of washi tape stickers. All of them are, are very, very fall season kind of st uh, styles. So yes, I will eventually start using my washi tape, but um, for these spreads that I've been doing uh, this summer, it just doesn't work. So you'll see them come out possibly in the September spread, but we'll see. <laughs> I think I've made more mistakes in this spread than in my uh, last two. Um, I've, I've made a mistake on uh, the uh, overview page, I've made a mistake um, with the weekly tasks box, the um, Espanol word of the week box twice now, and if you can see on a Tuesday on this spread, there is a little line that's uh, kind of poking out at the edge there. Um, so yes, this is a month of me accepting the mistakes I've made. <laughs> so yes, do learn from your mistakes. They'll always be a good reminder to try and not make those mistakes again. And it also makes your bullet journal unique because if it's perfectly aligned um, like what you see in shops, you might as well buy a, uh, a bullet journal or a, a regular journal. So having a mistake in your journal really helps you to remember this is something that you made. It's not something anybody else has made. So have fun with it and uh, accept those mistakes. we're on to the monthly review so you guys this is the last page you know the drill it is the little diary section for the month and the totals for the um, habits that I've managed to track 
Um, and as I did with the overview page and the trackers, um, I create little leaf motifs um, along with some dots and lines as well, which will come eventually. Um, just to finish off and to make it look really pretty and uh, the doodles at the end so another set of roses and leaves and dots and lines just to fill in that uh, white space there now for my totals page and for the dividing line between the uh, totals page and the monthly review it's just a standard line uh, because I think it is nicer that way, it is cleaner and the best thing to, to make it the way it is are the leaves. And that's it that is August all done um, we'll just have a quick flip through so you can see the month overall and the weekly spreads um, I do love this spread even though it's bold and in your face with the red uh, which I usually try to stay away from it's a rather clean spread that um, I didn't think would be able to, to be said with a red color uh, but yes again tell me do you really think that this is a red color or an orange color? I would love to know your thoughts. Leave your comments below <laughs> and let me know if you think it is red or orange. Uh, well, that's it from me today, you guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and follow me here on YouTube, on my social media channels, on my website and on Patreon. If you can donate to my Patreon, um, it'll really help me out if you guys could donate so that I can continue creating content like this for you guys. And if you have any comments or feedback and if you would like to be a part of the creation process, please do leave your comments and feedback in the comments section below. That way I know exactly what it is you guys want to see in my videos. And as always, be kind. Be creative and be unique. I'll see you later. Feather out.